the monsoon begins with this new struggle which would lead to sacrifice if the government dares submerge this land without the review as we are demanding and that is most likely to happen because the dam has already reached the height of 60 meters or so jab hum nahi atenge hum bhi dub jayenge usually when the rains come to gujarat and maharashtra it's a cause for celebration the land is irrigated crops can be planted and wells are refilled but for the village of manabeli this will be the last monsoon the narmada valley is being dammed the river will rise and in a few weeks this whole area will be under water the damming of the narmada has sparked a huge protest movement in india that's become the focus of world attention the sardar sarovar dam site is now a prohibited area under the indian official secrets act foreign journalists are immediately arrested and detained if found anywhere near it testifies to the sensitivity of the huge project which is expected to cost more than 6 billion pounds to complete the final height of the wall will be 480 feet more than twice its current level the government says the project will irrigate 2 million hectares of land provide food and drinking water for 20 million people and supply electricity for industry but as the waters rise villages up the valley will disappear 150,000 people will have to be moved. They're known as tribals, indigenous rural farmers whose lifestyle has changed little over the centuries and who've resisted the blandishments of the big cities. Perhaps to the surprise of the authorities, they formed a vigorous protest organization, the NBA or Save Namada movement. reviving gandian principles of non-violent resistance they're determined to remain in their villages even if it means drowning i to bagit na jana hai to takat ko na hai ha takat bije se lage se maro gam se hin se maro gam hin suli nahi jati na amne to chhutra bana kar rakha hai dubi gu mang dubi su pan hati su nahi To defuse the protests, the Indian authorities moved into the valley and moved out scores of families. Maida Patkar transferred her demonstration to a makeshift structure on a street corner in the center of Bombay. There, she started a well-publicized hunger strike. The Save Narmada movement had acquired such a high profile that the World Bank, which had been financing the dam to the tune of 450 million dollars, effectively pulled out the non party political struggle of this kind which would be non violent which is the basic tradition of india and uh, still you know sort of ready to face the rulers the giant powers at any level including the world bank is something which is a dream of people the strength and dignity of maida's protest inspired a huge demonstration which wound through the streets of bombay displaced villagers from the narmada valley joined environmental groups left wing political parties and trade unions to protest at the state and national government's involvement politicians though remain adamant that the benefits far outweigh the costs and that opposition however widespread is unfounded given the opposition takes place it's either out of prejudice or out of the fact that one has not gone deep into it if one goes deep into it the merits of the case then one would oppose so the opposition is based either on of this ignorance or uh, prejudice and th- there is no remedy to that shouting their demands for a full review of the entire dam project the save narmada protesters next staged an occupation of the central government's ministry of water resources in delhi The police quickly moved in and arrested them. The tough action came as little surprise. The human rights group Asia Watch reported that opponents to the dam had suffered arbitrary arrest, illegal detention, beatings, and other forms of physical abuse in the past. In the Namada Valley, homes have been completely demolished and occupants forcibly moved to resettlement areas. The state maintains it gives generous compensation to these so-called ousties.
the government of Gujarat has announced a very liberal package which is considered the most liberal rehabilitation package ever announced in the world. This package basically involves providing land for land. That is, if an Austi is losing land in submergence, he should be paid land in lieu of the land lost. The provision of land is 5 acres of irrigable land to each Austi. Austi is defined not only as a landowner, also his co-sharer, also his major son, it also includes encroachers and landless labourers. This is one of the resettlement areas, just a few kilometres from the Sardar Sarova Dam. The Austis here complain about lack of water supplies, poor grazing and inaccessibility to local markets. Communities and even families have been split up. Anti-dam campaigners say that far from being offered a liberal package, the Austis are being forced to move on to the worst land in the area. <laughs> Meanwhile, their champion made a pack car and 80 members of the anti-dam movement were finally arrested in Bombay. Policemen and women moved in at 2 o'clock in the morning and dragged them away. But the government also announced concessions, not the full-blown review the movement wanted, but talks about a review. With made a packed car taken off to be force-fed in hospital, the authorities have gained a breathing space of a few weeks. But on the banks of the Narmada, they say that unless the dam is abandoned altogether, they remain prepared to drown. Twentieth century industrialization has collided with an indigenous people on the Namada. For Indians, it's given a voice to a new style Gandhi. You should be ready to die to live, so that you have a right to life and you can live. That's all I believe in. Maida's uncompromising stance has inspired the valley people. If the call for a halt to the dam is not heeded, their sacrifice in the waters of the river may follow in the summer monsoon.